Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where last time of course we welcome the wonderful Talas to the team, and there he is there, ready to go and dismantle some shoes, all the big jobs for you Talas, but yeah we found him out there in the world somewhere, I'm not entirely sure which direction we went in to find him, so for argument's sake, let's say he was over there behind that kind of big pointy bit of rock, and he was sending up smoke signals, because he's quite clever is Talas. He's got an intellect of fire, so he's quite a smart chappy, so he was sending up smoke signals to try to attract attention, he attracted our attention, and then we went over to see him in our little balloon, we picked him up, brought him back, and now here he is, a valued member of our little camp, which is wonderful. And of course it's very good, because we now have another pair of hands over here to help us go and do all the things that we need to do. And to make it even better, he's hard working. 25% more movement speed, 25% more manipulation efficiency. I'm not 100% sure what manipulation efficiency does. I think it means if he's doing something with his hands, like if he's at a crafting table or the soldering bench or whatever it is, I think maybe he does things a bit quicker there. I think maybe he can just kind of craft things a bit quicker. I'm willing to be correct on that, so let me know what that means, but I think that's what that means. Also, he's healthy and he's a glutton, but yeah, he's very hard working. He's very good at moving around nice and quick, so I kind of see him as our logistics manager. Good at moving things around and getting things where they need to be. So, welcome aboard, Talas. Hopefully you are kind of, you know, finding your way around. So that was quite good last time. That was one very big thing that we got up to. However, one thing that we didn't do last time, because I completely forgot, was craft a musical instrument. And we've had the option to do that for a little while now, but I've just completely forgot multiple times. So, right now, before I forget again, let's go make ourselves a musical musical instrument shall we and then Vanessa can play away and then everybody can be happy about that so let's have a look so leisure so we can either make a hand pan or a didgeridoo and when I don't know oh hang on grants intellect experience on use and that does the same okay so really it's just a case of which one do we put or do we get both and just you know give people a bit of an option Maybe you know, one, one night could be handpan night, and the night after that could be didgeridoo night. I don't know. Let's get both of them down, shall we? So I think for now, we'll put them over... I mean, where do we put them? Do we put them over here? Maybe we put them over here for now. So pop a handpan there, and then go back into there. Get a didgeridoo. Let's put the didgeridoo next to it, in fact. In fact no, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. If people are going to be over here... If people are going to be sitting down over here, relaxing, having a chat over the table, maybe we put them over here. So put the hand pan there, and then put the didgeridoo just there. So they can sit here and play to the people at the table. I quite like that. There we go. Wonderful. Right, so that's that done. And then another thing we have to do over here. So we're changing our plans again for the rooms. Because a few people pointed out that there is a very, very good kind of, uh, I don't know, happiness buff type thing if they sleep in their own room and it's the size of five by four. So we've got the five sorted. I mean, by pure fluke, really. One, two, three, four, five. But my original plan was to split the rooms into five by threes. But I think instead we will go for five by fours because that means that they get a huge boost to their mood, which has got to be a good thing. I mean, Ember is looking a little bit low anyway, so you know, if we can just give them a mood boost just by virtue of them having a bed in their own room that's quite big, that's got to be a good thing. They're going to start the day nice and happy, which is good. So we need to do a little bit of rejigging of this over here, because yeah, now these rooms are going to be too small. So for the moment, let us not do these things. We don't want the door in, please. So cancel that and hang on a minute where is it cancel that how do we cancel all of this stuff uh can we cancel cancel orders okay right here we go so if we could just say oh botherations i don't want you to cancel the orders for the stone bit though um cancel uh stone floor wooden plank wall wall construction right this this is going to get complicated isn't it uh hang on no not that not that at all right hang on i might have to go and individually click these bits I might have to go and do it individually because otherwise I'm going to select other things and it's going to get very complicated. Hang on, can I do that, look? Can I do that and then say uh, no? Because those bits don't exist yet. Bother. Okay, never mind, never mind. Right, we'll do this. So, yeah, if we get the flooring bit in, that's going to be quite good. And I think, yeah, we have got plenty of stone to do that. However... It does mean that for now somebody is going to be sharing a bedroom, which isn't ideal, but never mind. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okie dokes, that's good. So we need another, we need another three 
after that as well to fit the next set of bedrooms in because that's going to be one, two, three, four. So that's going to be two bedrooms and then there's going to be one, two, three, four over here for another two bedrooms. And then we need another two bedrooms as well because of course we have five people and we might pick up somebody else at some point so we can have a spare room for a while. So yeah, what was it again? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. We need another three lots of stone. Crikey. Okay, we might possibly not have enough. We might not have enough. Hang on. Let's try and get down what we can. So stone flooring. Yes, please. Another three tiles. Are, we might be okay, you know. We might be okay. Although, ah, it's not coming up at the right height. Why would that be the case? Hang on a minute. What have I done here? So like that, but I want it to be the same height as that. Do you know what? We're going to let them build that bit first. That's fine. Right. So get time ticking on. No queued research. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we finished our research stuff. I mean, maybe for now, we'll just let people go and do other bits and bobs. How are we looking for food? A couple of veggie soups, bit of meat soup, emergency rations. A few people in the comments did say that we should learn how to make those. And I think... Do we put them over here? Uh, no, it's not over there. Where do we... I mean, it would make sense if they're over here, actually, Penge. In here. Yeah. Oh, cooked emergency rations. Um, oh, hang on. It's because... I know why we can't make rations. Because we haven't researched them yet. That would be why. Hang on a second. So, there we go. Six hours. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, get that done. Somebody go and research that. That's got to be good. And then what else do we want to kind of queue up, maybe? What else do we queue up? Um, I don't know what we do with the palm oil. I'm not entirely sure what we do with that. That just, yeah, that's good for cooking, possibly. That's oil extraction. But again, I don't know what we do with oil. Unless we make fuel out of oil. I do not know. Uh, ooh, laser pistols and pulse rifles. Ooh, shooty gun things. They might be quite useful. They might be quite handy. Hang on, so three days. Okay, so I'm going to laser pistols is... What you need to make them so 10 alloys we can get loads of alloys that's absolutely fine two what are those things hang on electron components two power cells okay and hang on laser pistol now hang on pulse rifle is yeah 10 of the alloys two of the power cells makes one rifle a laser pistol is 10 alloys one power cell and one cpu core so we could potentially make more of those but i imagine a pulse rifle is a little bit more effective. The only thing is, we can't make too many of them. However, power cell assembly. Okay, so we pick up 30 of those crystals, which we know where they are. They are over, hang on, come out of that. Where are they? They're over here. The crystally things are over here. So we could get a few of those. We could harvest some of those, and then we could potentially make, hang on, power cells, was it? This is complicated. We can make power cells, and we could use those to make pulse rifles. I think maybe that might be what we do. Because we are going to have to up our defences a little bit. And I think that's quite a good thing to do. So I think for now, yeah. Power cell assembly, then pulse rifles. Okay, getting a little bit kind of shooty and defensive, which is very good. Uh, right, okay, yeah, happy with that. We still need to craft electronics. Oh yeah, we're going to try and work that out. But first of all, let's let them just do a few bits and bobs. Let's try and get that floor in. Let's try and get that floor sorted. Ember dropping off a lot of resources over there to do the floor. Good job. That's very impressive. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Annette is claiming to be better at darts than Talas. I mean, you can claim all you like, but I mean, you know, prove it. Come over here. Have a little kind of darts tournament and prove that you're better. That would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, three veggie soup. One meat soup. A lot of our um thing with bobs whatever they are butter melons they're about to go off that's not great now how do we get rid of going off stuff how do we get rid of that because a few people said oh yeah you should just get rid of the going off stuff but i don't know how to do it i don't know how to get rid of the going off stuff and the going off food i'm not entirely sure how we go about doing that yeah it's just there look so there's a bit of food i assume it's that meat soup there oh throw away throw away the meat soup okay do that then. So get rid of the meat soup because it's mouldy and it's you know, got green clouds of grot coming off it. So chuck that away. I don't know where that goes. I'm not entirely sure. But okay, so we're now cooking some more stuff. This is good. So food is looking okay. And as we've seen, we can't make too much food. 
because it goes off quite quickly anyway. I mean, really, really, we should be concentrating on getting things in, like, your know, refrigerators and such like. Hang on. Emergency rations. Right, so can we make them over here? They're cooked emergency rations, so do we make them over here? I swear people say we craft them. Um, but no. How do we make emergency rations then? How do we do that? I mean, it's not going to be over here because that would be silly. Emergency rations. It says there we can... Hang on. We can cook them, but it requires one emergency ration. And we don't have any of them because we've used them up. How do we... How do we make them? How do we kind of craft them? I'm not entirely sure where we go to make them. Are they in the barrel thingamajig? Do we have to kind of ferment things? No. Uh, are we fermenting anything now? I think we are. Um... Right. I mean, does the research thing give us any clue as to how that works? Research technologies. Emergency rations. Uh, crafted on cooking stoves. Oh, we need a proper cooking stove, which I guess we probably should get in anyway. So do you know what? Maybe, maybe let's get, get in a proper stove. Uh, we could have an electrical one, but... We've only got one little generator over there, and I kind of feel like it's going to be very overworked. So, for now, maybe let's go for that cooking stove there. Scrap metal and sticks, and it consumes sticks. We can cope with this. So, if we get one of these in, we just pop here. Oh, no, there for now, do the job. Right, run time on. That's not what I wanted to happen. That's what I wanted to happen. There we go. Discuss future research. That's good. Um, Ember is having a risk of a meltdown. Old equipment, new resource, grain porridge. Oh, we made some grain porridge. Oh, finally, at long last. Yeah, there we go. We've got a different food to eat. Hurrah, that's all very exciting. Um, yep, yeah, things are kind of falling apart. We sort of know that to be the case. Ember might have a meltdown. You're exhausted. I mean, yeah, you are allowed to go to bed, Ember. Have a lovely rest. That's okay. Oh, yeah, you would do all the building. You would have done all that building work over there. To be fair, that is, that's quite a big project. So we'll let you off. Uh, do you know what we can look forward to tomorrow, though? More building work. Yay! Right, we need another kind of three lots. But it needs to be higher. To change floor level, use Z and X keys. Or, or mouse it up a bit. Uh, like that? No, that's that's not working. Or press. Oh, I see. Ah, like that. Okay. So another three. So one, two, three. 294 stone to do that we don't necessarily have 294 stone so we might need to go and grab some more stone from somewhere i think there's a little bit over here still i think there is some stone there so hang on do the big multiple grab thingamajig two rocks mine those and then surely there's some stone over there i mean that's that's very stony that's just entirely stone but we can't have that stone for reasons anything over here uh, no, there is a big bit of ship we could go and grab. Big bit of ship. Um, oh dear. Right, we are running low on stone, it seems. There's going to be quite a bit over here, I would think. Let's maybe just grab a little bit like that. So, rock chunks mine and mine the rocks themselves. Okie doke. Right, wonderful. Yeah, we have sort of not got enough stone to do the next bit, but that's okay. We shall work through it. But more importantly, we are making a cooking stove. This is good, so maybe we can do without the little campfire and we can actually work off a proper stove, which would be good. Right, hang on a second, pause time. So, what can we do here then? So, hot drinks, stimulating tea. Ooh, stimulating tea. Hang on a minute, that's different to that. So, that is... Oh, right, so the dandelion spore tea is minor pain relief, plus 15 happiness. That one is a minor stimulant. So different types of tea. Oh, this is brilliant. Again, I can't see any coffee anywhere. Just looking around, no coffee there. Just, you know, I think that says everything we need to know about which is the better drink. Uh, yeah, we'll make... Hang on, can we copy the... Um, copy the things from here? Can we copy... Uh, not copy the structure. I want to copy the recipe setup we've got. Uh, I don't think we can bother. Okay, never mind. Right, so let's set everything up again. Hang on. Tasty recipes. Chef's recipes. Oh, we can't make any of these things, but maybe at some point we could. We can, we can make a pie. We can make a pie. We're making a pie. That's what we're doing. We're going to make pies. We're going to have two pies, please, because pies are fun. Uh, so we'll do that. Hot drinks. We'll have the lovely relaxing tea. 
I quite like that. And we'll make sure we have, I mean, oh, hang on, maybe not that much. 10, 10 lots because yeah, there's five of them. So I can have two teas each, which is good. So that's good. So we've got buttermelon pie. We haven't got enough dandelion spores. Okay, that might be a little bit of an issue, but there we go. Uh, and then can we make any other of these? No. Okay, so quick recipes. Uh, yeah, grain porridge. Do until we've got four. And then quick recipes, veggie soup. Do until we have four. And you, yeah, don't use the dandelion spores because they are for the tea. And then quick recipe, meat soup. Do until we have four and use whatever meat you can find, including the not meat bananas. And then over here, look, yes, emergency rations. Okay, so what do we do that? So it requires two cooked meals and also some fabric. Uh, wrap up cooked meals as emergency rations. Ah, does that make them last a bit longer possibly? Is that gonna be a bit better? So possibly, yeah, if we don't use synthetic textiles, I think we have got quite a lot of cloth. 78 cloth, okay. So if we do that until we have, um, and four of those as well, make sure we've got four of everything and just sort of keep things ticking over. But yeah, we're gonna make some pies, which is good. So at the moment, we're not gonna do the uh, the porridge, veggie soup or meat soup, because we've got enough of it or we haven't got resources, um, but we might start making emergency rations, which is good. We do need to go and get some more dandelion spore things. Hang on, can we get them from over here? Uh, dandelion trees, harvest, perfect. That should give us a few over here, harvest those. Is that one ready to harvest? Yes, it is. Okay, that should be quite good. We should get some lovely uh, lovely dandelion spores for that. That's wonderful. Okie doke. Right, let's see what people are up to, because I think now it's kind of downtime, isn't it? It's the end of the working day, so people can just, you know, chill out and do what they like. Have we got the instruments done? Have we got the instruments done? Where's Vanessa? I don't know, what are you doing, Talas? I don't know what you're doing, but okay, right, Vanessa, where are you? Oh, you're in bed. You're in bed. You are hungry and tired. Right, Vanessa, I'm going to give you a bit of a command. Uh, yelled at Talas for breathing too loudly. <laughs> Ember, you can't yell at him for that. That's not very kind. Uh, right, go over here and eat some veggie soup, Vanessa, because you're hungry and it's going to make you grumpy if you don't eat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Somebody's playing the hand pan. Nova is playing the hand pan. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's good. Vanessa's got a bit of food. This is brilliant. Right, you eat some food, and now you're playing the didgeridoo. Do that I mean to yourself, but do you know what? That's okay. You're having fun playing the didgeridoo. That's completely brilliant. Okay, right. So you go and do that. Finish playing that. You'll go back to bed, I imagine, at some point soon. And yeah, going to sleep. But you play music plus 18 to your happiness. Also, is that another big bit of spaceship coming down over there? There was a big thing in the sky there. Or does that just happen all the time around here? And I've never ever noticed. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. The sun does look very exciting over there. Or the moon or whatever it is. But um, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is bits of ship kind of coming down. But it didn't land in our bit of the world. So we don't need to care about it. Um, okay, okay, right. Let's let them have a bit of sleep. And then in the morning, they'll get up and do various other bits and bobs. Actually, now we've got a little kind of proper oven stove type thing. Do we need the campfire? I don't think we do. I think we can get rid of that. I think, yes, we can dismantle that thing. That'll get us back some scrap metal, which is okay. That's always quite handy. How are we doing with this? I mean, okay, maybe up that. Can we please have 100 alloys? because I see them becoming more and more useful as time goes on and as we build more advanced things. But there we go, so hopefully they can work on that. There's some more food on the floor, going a bit mouldy. Are they nearly ready? Um, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. Can we tell if they're ready to harvest? Uh, I don't know, they'll get to it at some point. They're not ready to harvest because they're not kind of that lovely orangey color and they are not either. How is this doing though? How is that doing? 88% average growth. Because if we can get all that done, that means it will get a load of cloth. And then we can maybe think about making some carpets for over here, because they complained about the kind of rubbishy stone floor, which is fair enough. And then also, we do need cloth to make the sort of emergency ration things over here. So yeah, we have got a little bit to do, but it would be quite handy if we could get them all kind of harvested. 
Still on 88%, which is not great. Needed fertilizers. Oh, okay, so if we want to, we could try to put fertilizer on it. There we go. Annette is now making, she's making the pies. We're making a pie. This is brilliant. This game has tea and hats and pies. That's completely fantastic. Although she got bored of making the pie. I know maybe the pie is just cooking. Maybe the pie has to just kind of sit and cook because, you know, you put it, put it in the oven and then leave it for a while. And then, I mean, we're doing a lot of things. We're doing a lot of things. What did we just make over there? We're making, oh, a crossbow. Okay, it would be good if we could get the crossbow in. It would be very good because, yeah, we're not quite at the point where we can make the fancy laser weapons yet. So a crossbow would be fantastic. So let's see what people are up to. You've nearly finished working over here. You've moved some stuff over. You're handling the diesel generator. Possibly should have turned that off, but never mind. Um, do you know what? Is that connected to these? Is that still, are these still doing anything? They are oh, not enough power. Oh, I've kind of, I've broken all the things. Okay, hang on a minute. If we turn that off, if we go and turn that off. Talas, I imagine we'll go and do that because Talas does that kind of stuff. Right, there we go. Right, the aircon is back on. Annette reached cooking six. Well done, Annette. Good job. Talas playing Dars. Ember's playing the didgeridoo. Uh, Vanessa is ravenously hungry. Uh, Vanessa also played a funny, in quotes, prank on Talas which implies to me that it wasn't funny. And Talas is eating a pie. You enjoy the pie, my good sir. Um, Vanessa, Vanessa, you're ravenously hungry. Why not? Here's an idea. Why not eat some food? That would sort out your hunger issues, wouldn't it? If, you know, you were to eat some food, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? There we go. So you have some food. That's all very good. How are we looking back over here? Right, so the air conditioning stuff is now on, which is good. But yeah, the bench is, the soldering bench is currently off. And it would be good if we could craft some electronics. So I think what we'll do is we'll let them all go and have a rest now. Because again, it's bedtime. Time is flying by. So it's bedtime now. So we'll let them have a bit of a rest. We're going to lose lose a lot of um, a lot of the buttermelons. Uh, how many of those do we have? We've got oh, 350 of them. Oh, we've still got plenty of other ones. That's okay. So um, yeah, I think we'll let them have a rest for now. And then when they've woken up and had a bit of breakfast and you know, sort of got ready for the day, I think, yes, we'll try and figure out how to make this work. We'll switch that back on, possibly switch off the air conditioning things, give enough power to that bench, and then hopefully somebody can come along, make some electronic component bits and bobs, and then we can research solar panels and everything else, and it shall be wonderful. But okay, let's let them have a bit of a sleep first, though. Oh, I think somebody has set some food that's going off. Hang on a minute, where's the mouldy food? Um, yeah, it must be that. So yeah, can we get rid of that, please? Don't eat the mouldy food. However, we do have a crossbow. Uh, okay, right. Talas, are you good at fighting? Combat 3, you are not too bad at all. So how about you equip yourself with... Where's the crossbow? We've made a crossbow. Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, oh, you're taking apart... What do you just take apart? Oh dear, what did you just dismantle? I don't know what you just took apart, but okay, you dismantled something, which is a thing that just happened. Um, right, Talas, can you have... Where's the... Who's got the crossbow? Who's given themselves a crossbow? I swear it just said we'd made a crossbow. But where it is, I do not know. No, it says no crossbow. Did they just dismantle the crossbow that they just made? Did I right-click and tell them to dismantle a crossbow rather than not do something with... I thought I told them to dismantle, like, to throw away the food. Maybe I told them to dismantle the crossbow. By accident. Uh, okay, I don't know, but that's a bit of a nuisance. Because I thought it said it was done, but never mind. However, over here, that is done. And now, Ember, you can have a little bit of a break, if you like. That'd be okay. So, over here, turn that air conditioning off, turn that off, and then switch that back on. So will that thing now be able to power our bench over here? Right, so Vanessa's going to go and handle that job. The big job of, you know, switching these things off. Lovely cool room inside, very nice. Switch that on. Is that now working? Yes, it's working okay. So we've got plenty of alloys, I think. Let's do that until we have... How much silicon do we have? How much of that? Where Where is that? Um, is it there? 60. Okay, do that until we've got five bits of electronics. Somebody somebody come and do this, please. 
who is the best at crafting? Who is our sort of crafting person? Uh, Annette's quite good. Definitely not you. You're not too bad. You're not bothered. You're sort of okay. How about Nova? What are you up to now? You are... Oh, you're making the crossbow. You're making the crossbow. We just harvested all those. That's good. That's a load more um, lovely buttermelons. This is good. And it's planting some more of them. This is wonderful. She's given up and gone to get some food because she's hungry. And Nova's now chopping some wood. Right, Nova, I'm going to stop you in a second. Transport that. Oh, now you're getting something to eat. And now it's going to be... Well, now it's going to be bedtime again. Oh, botherations. Okay, okay. Never mind. Right. Tomorrow, we'll get on this thing. Tomorrow, we will make some electronics. And then... Are we nearly at the point? No, we're not even anywhere near that thing. We're nowhere near unlocking the secrets of power cells. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, let's wait until tomorrow then. Let's wait until tomorrow. And then, oh, hang on. Have we started harvesting these? I think we might have, look. I think we might have. Okay, no, right, that's quite good. Uh, right, let them go to bed. I mean, while they're in bed, is it worth maybe looking at sorting out the rooms over here a little bit? Okay, so I think our best option is to make two big long rooms. So to make one big long room there and one big long room there and make sure they are 12 by 5. So at the moment they're what, 5 by 5? They So make them a bit bigger. So keep them as 5 sort of, I don't know, tall, 5 deep or whatever, and then make them 12 long. And that means later on we can partition them off into three smaller rooms of 5 by 4 which is the size we need for them to get their best kind of mood boost thing for having their own big room. I think that's our best option. Rather than kind of zoning out individual walls and trying to build the rooms on their own, all that kind of stuff, just make two big long rooms and then partition them up later on. I think that's our best option. I don't quite know how the roof is going to work when we do that, but you know what? We will find out. It'll be a fun journey for us all. So here we go. Get some wooden planks. Now, how big is this one again? That's five, is it? One, two, three, four, five. So we need, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and then we can, yeah, split that up. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a big, quite a big building project, this. It's gonna be a big old thing. Oh, hang on a minute, it needs a door. Um, Hang on, where's that gonna be? One, two, three, four. So yeah, we could put a wall just here, look. So one, two, three, four. Put a door just there. I mean, while we're here, why don't we also put a door in, one, two, three, yeah, at the end there. So, uh, yeah, one of them, like that, please. And then we kind of want the same thing over here. It's going to take a lot of wood. We are going to need to go and chop down many, many trees. But do you know what? That's okay. We can muddle through and do that. So, I think we do the same thing again. So, get a room like that. Drag it all the way over there. And click that there right so that's yeah one two three four so one two three it'd be opposite the other one won't it actually hang on like uh is that right yeah like that and then another door can go in just there there we go and then eventually we will have three bedrooms on that side three bedrooms on that side which are of the right size wonderful there we go i keep pressing four to move time my nice and quick but it's not going to work right we need to go and chop down some trees that's okay. There are some over here. There we go. Choppity chop those trees down, please. Um, and, I mean, yeah, do we get rid of a few of those trees as well? Let's, you know what, we'll pick on, we'll pick on those palm trees there. We'll get rid of those too. That should be okay. Right, there we go. So plenty for people to be getting on with. Did they get all that stone from over there? I think they did. Good grief, they got all of that stone. I mean, there's loads of stone. There's loads of it over here. Look at that. There are many, many stones. I think we'll be okay for stone. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's quite good. So now, oh, there you go. Talas is up already. Well done, Talas. Bit of a bit of, you know, early bird catching the worm kind of thing. And right to the research table. Look at that. Not bothering to have breakfast or anything. Just get straight into researching, which is good. Ember's going to repair a punching pole. Annette is getting the sort of cloth stuff. Well, she was, but now she's just kind of having a break. She's standing around because, yeah, we told them to have a bit of a break. But right, now back to harvesting. Oh, okay, no, this is good. This is good. Because that means if we pick up loads of cloth, we can make nice bits of floor in here. We can give them carpet, which would be good. In fact, can we look at doing that now? How much have we got? 218 cloth. Um, okay. Where is F? Flooring. So if we could have soft carpet. That sounds quite nice. So Annette reached farming for Annette's doing a grand job of levelling up. So yeah, just soft carpet. Sounds quite nice. So it's two cloth per tile. So we can do that, look. 
that's 50 cloth and then we can do it bother i got a minute oh hang on thin smoke annette is unarmed uh oh okay annette is unarmed uh yeah we sort of knew that i think but more importantly hang on a second there is now a crossbow available. I don't know what we did with the last one. I think it got dismantled. I think I might have accidentally told them to dismantle it somehow. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what happened. But right, okay, so they're going to put some carpet into there. We'll put some carpet into here, which is wonderful. Right, so yeah, soft carpet. Lovely on the toes. Be very nice on your feet there, just to walk in on some lovely carpet rather than some stone flooring. I mean, yeah, can we hang wallpaper? Is that a thing we can do? No, we can't. Maybe at some point in the future we can, if we unlock that. Right, thin smoke. A streak of thin smoke is snaking on the horizon. Is it that person setting fire to other people and animals again? Is it that lunatic? I'm not entirely sure. Interesting. Okay. So now we've got... I mean, yeah, now I don't feel so bad about sending Nova out on expedition because we've got four of the people back at the camp to keep things going and also do some fighting if we have to. So we should be okay. Um, hang on, I want to go and watch them get this carpet sorted, though. How does it look? Uh, oh, it's kind of yellowy. It's kind of yellow. I thought it might be a bit more white, but no, I suppose, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like when we get it from there. So, yeah, it's kind of a lovely yellowy colour. It goes with the beds, because, of course, they're made from the same thing, which makes sense. Um, meteor rain. Hang on. During this disaster, metal-containing meteors fall to the ground, dealing damage in the blast area. Okay, that doesn't sound like a fun thing. Um, how do we dodge Meteor Rain? I don't want Meteor Rain. Meteor Rain sounds like a terrible, terrible thing. Do we have to get everyone to go and hide inside? Is that what we should do? What if a Meteor hits right here? What if we get walloped by a Meteor just there and it undoes all of our fine work that we've done? Please don't hit anything on the base, Meteor Rain. I, we can't defend against it. We can't do anything about it. We could get all our people and hide them in one of the rooms, but a meteor could crash down onto the room and kill them all. So we'll just let them do what they need to do. We just hope that we don't... Oh, yeah, look. Is that a bit of it? Uh, oh, yeah, maybe we saw an early bit of the meteor rain coming down or whatever then. This is very, very unsettling. I don't like the fact that we could get squished by a meteor any second. This isn't fun at all. Right, next, planting some stuff. This is fine. So that's more sort of cotton plant stuff. Uh, you've had some food... Please go away, Meteor Rain. We don't like it at all. Uh, you're hungry. Uh, I think the moon bodes something good, says Annette. Ah, I don't think it makes any difference at all. Annette might have a meltdown. Has anybody done this yet? Has anybody done that? No. Nobody's... At, right, Nova, hang on. You are currently chopping down a tree. That's good. I like the fact you are chopping down a tree. Um, can you go and do this? Can you go and craft some electronics, please? Because that would be fantastically useful. Um, just really quickly, just make one bit. And it'll open up so many other research options. And let's hope the uh, soldering bench doesn't get walloped by a meteor or whatever. Because that would be inconvenient. Right, so you... Uh, here we go. Nova's got the stuff. So now how long does it take... Hang on, that was a meteor impact. Because something just went wallop. Um, I don't know where. But there was a definite wallop. There was, there was a kaboom, but I don't know where it was. Uh, okay, okay, everything's fine, everything's fine. It must have hit the ground somewhere nearby, but not on our heads, which is kind of the important thing. Right, Nova is assembling the electrodes. I'm going to keep zoomed out a little bit, just so we can see where potential impacts might be happening. Although, I think it stopped now. I think now it's gone away, which is brilliant. Uh, Ember might have a bit of a meltdown, although I think she's had some tea. She's ravenously hungry. I mean, eat some food. There's no food. Okay, that would be why, that would be why she's hungry. Hang on. Annette, you've got nothing to do. Um, can we not, can we not make some food? Can you not make some food? We haven't got any meat. So, oh, okay, okay. But I see the problem here. Let's go and harvest some of these. Let's go and get some sausage palms. Let's go and get some red, definitely not meat bananas. We'll just gra grab a few of those because they will be quite handy. So there we go. Wonderful. Right. Grab a few of those. That's going to be nice. Ember's gone to look at a statue, which is good. But yeah, if people are hungry, that's going to be a bad thing. Nova, just please finish this. Please finish this. And then you can go to bed. 
they go to bed. We're going to get attacked by some animals. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's grumpy. And we're going to get attacked. Right, there we go. New resource. Electronics. Okie doke. This is good. So hang on. You drop them off. And then we'll look at the potential threat. Although, again, the local wildlife is doing a good job. Right, Nova. Um, I think you should go to bed. Because it's late. And you're going to be tired. So you go to bed, please, Nova. I'm ordering you to sleep. Because you appear to be defying the orders. Right, where are these animals coming from? They're coming from over in... Oh, over in that direction. Okay. So we've got two shooty guns. We've got you with... Did we craft another crossbow? No. Okay, so a bow and arrow. And you've got a crossbow. I mean, soon-ish, we might be able to have a whole complement of laser weapons to fight the baddies. But for now, we can't do that. So, okay, what have we got? So eight scarabay, six overgrown scarabay, or scarabai, how you pronounce it, but, um, I mean, yeah, it was 15, now it's 14. It would be good if something else would come and fight them. That'd be handy. That thing is bleeding, which is a bit sad. Uh, okay, right, we'll wait until the attack. It would be good if they could wait until the morning, down to 13. This is good. They're being picked off by the local wildlife. Thank you, creatures. Right. Animal attack. Sorry, folks. You've all got to get up. I do apologise. I wish it weren't so. But here we go. Right. You lot. Come and stand uh, over here, look. Come and stand over here. And we'll see how we get on. So, animal attack. Whereabouts are they? It's not these things. They're not attacking us. No, they're okay. They're okay with us. This is fine. Yeah, there they are. There are the pesky beetles. Okie dokie. Here we go. So how are we going to do this? We do need some sort of automated defences, don't we? Right, fire. Fire at will. That's a bow and arrow. That wasn't particularly good. But here we go, lasers. And Annette's just going to wander off and do some harvesting. <laughs> These are all fighting. And quickly, shoot the terrifying monsters. She's going, ooh, definitely not meat bananas. Brilliant. This is exciting. Right, miss, miss, miss. Shoot at you, shoot. Stab at you, stab. Okay. So Annette is now running away. Very sensible Annette. Good job. We are killing them off. Okay. People are a little bit injured, but nothing we can't deal with. That's been dealt with. That's been shot. That's been shot. And now it's just all the little ones. It's the little ones coming. There's one big one. Hang on. Everybody concentrate on the big one. So try. Oh, beautiful. Well done. Good job, everybody. That was fantastic. That's one. Where is the final one? It's up here. Is that one of the large ones? It's quite a long way away. Did you not get the email about the attack? Maybe you didn't get the message. Okay, hang on. Go and attack it. Just go and pick it off now. Because it's just over there being a nuisance. Right, so okay, here we go. Shoot at you. Shoot, shoot the big one. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, right. Undraft all of you. This is good. Uh, somebody can overgrow scarabay, butcher those. Scarabay, butcher that. Anything else over here? Uh, overgrown scarabay butcher that please okie doke right so you lot go and deal with all that kind of stuff there's quite a lot of things to deal with vanessa might have a meltdown because she's very hungry understandably so and she's awaiting treatment who can treat them i don't know ah here we go who's going in? is that talas how good are you at medical stuff talas uh medical healing too do you know what it, it's okay it's not brilliant it's not terrible you might be okay so you are not bleeding and now hopefully you're not bleeding either right so vanessa and ember i know vanessa and nova are recovering although she does have bitten off flesh hopefully she is going to go and sit down she is bleeding still so she's getting up and wandering about but yeah she's quite badly injured um, Nova, do you not want to go and... Oh, no, Nova is being treated. Oh, Nova's over here. Hang on, no, who's... I'm confused. Who's Nova treating? Is Nova treating... Oh, Nova's recovering. Oh, there we go. Right, it's all been sorted. Yay, there we go. Right, Nova's not bleeding. That's all very good. Uh, research is looking good to make our own power cells. Then we can unlock shooty gun things. Uh, we've got some scarabay being butchered. So we can make some food, which will be fantastic. Uh, Annette, when you've done this... When you've done all this, can you please go make some food? Because we are all incredibly hungry. So yeah, if you could do that, that would be brilliant. Um, 
yeah, a complete lack of food. People are going to have meltdowns because you know, people get grumpy when they're hungry. That's what happens. I do. I get the hangers. So um, there we go. That's done. Things are rotting away. Annette reach heating too. There might be a meltdown. But Annette is now going to do some cooking. She's going to make some pies, I think, which is brilliant. So you make some pies. Ember is now starving. Wait there, Ember. We've got pies on the go. Um, and then also, back here, device is working. Oh, hang on. So because that's working, it can't do anything else. Right, Nova, Ember. Um, Talas is eating the not meat bananas. But you know, that's probably fine. A few, actually, a few people in the comments did say, that, where are we? Where's our limits? Here, so in raw food, oh, I didn't realize you could break it down. So people said, yeah, it's okay if they eat raw vegetables and eat that kind of syrupy stuff. That's sort of fine. So maybe let them do that but don't let them eat raw meat, because that would possibly be a little bit dangerous. So you don't eat that and don't eat raw grain. Everything else you can have, though. It's all fine. Okay, that's good. That's good. Where is Ember, who is currently starving, which is bad, or did you eat? Uh, no, you're starving. You're getting a pie to eat. You better be quick. You better be quick. They are popular pies, I'm telling you. But here we go. So you run over and get that, and then hopefully Annette can now yeah forget that you can cook cook some grain porridge make some porridge make any kind of food stuff please prioritize this can we make that a priority thing can we say this is more important than stocking that thing up because i kind of feel like it is uh we have made some electronics which is good and also hang on go to here does that now mean solar panels okay three hours to unlock those three hours to unlock those brilliant Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. And if we could get those rooms put together, that would be brilliant as well. And then we can just slap some walls in between them. And then it's all going to be sorted. We've got some trees to chop down. So that's not so bad. So, uh, yeah, okay, looking good. So let's let them just get through another night. The end of, uh, where are we? I know, the start of day 36. Good grief. Day 36. It really is flying past, isn't it? So there we go. So we'll see what they get up to in the morning. But I think... We should be able to get those room bits there all sorted out. Can Talas build? Can you build things? Um, where are you? Yeah, construction one. Not the best, but at the moment Ember does all the construction. And I imagine that's why she's quite tired. Could you possibly, Talas, do some... Oh, yeah, construction two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Maybe you're going to help out. Insufficient storage space. We can't store the wood. Just put it anywhere. We're going to use it on this anyway, so just store it anywhere for now. It's all fine. Okay, Talas has come down with swarm fever, which isn't ideal. Also, I've just noticed that his bed is the wrong way round, look. The sort of head of the bed is down here, and the foot of the bed is over there. That's the wrong way round, but you know what? It's okay for now. When he gets his own room, we'll put it the right way round. Don't you worry, Talas. So, okay, is anybody coming to heal you then? Ember is going to do it. I kind of feel like Vanessa should be doing more medical stuff. Hang on, activities. Vanessa. So one is heal and two is research. So I would have thought that she would have dropped everything she's doing to go and do go and do the healing because, yeah, there's somebody waiting to be healed. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? It's a little bit strange. But OK, right. So there we go. The swarm fever has been suppressed. That's good. Talas can now go and do what he was doing. Get some walls put together over here. This is wonderful. Only a few bits left. Oh, and the roof. I forgot about the roof. Hang on. So there we go. Yeah, the roof kind of just carries on. It just carries on, which is pretty good. Annette has reached crafting six. Good job, Annette. Annette is just doing a grand job of getting more skills. That's very good. Um, okay, so here we go. Those walls can be done. In fact, I think that's it. I think that's it. We can get this sorted out. They get, need to get the doors in, I think. But yeah, the roof is going on. Get the walls in. Get the doors in. So that room is now done. This is good. And now all we have to do is put some walls in here. So just split this up into smaller things. And then we should be okay. Then we should be okay. This is wonderful. And boop, last one. Come on, put the door together. And there we go. Okay, that's really good. That's very good. Now we have the slightly fiddly job of moving things around a little bit. So you're getting walls in where they need to be. But how much of the um, of the cloth have we got? 278. So I think right now, before we go and do anything else, let's just get some lovely carpet down 
into here. So 70 into there and another 70 into there. So that's going to be 140 of our stuff. That leaves loads to go and make clothes and everything else. That's really good. So there we go. Very soon, we will have some bedrooms set up. And I think, yeah, we need to move the beds around and all that kind of stuff. In fact, that should be okay. We can dismantle these walls now, actually. Hang on a second. Hang on. Get rid of these walls. So um, wooden plank. Yeah, that bit of wall there. So how do we do that? So deconstruct that bit of wall. I'm going to double click it each time. We deconstruct that bit. Um, I don't want to do it wrong. It's the only thing. Right. Deconstruct that bit of wall. This is all for we're just being very careful and deconstruct that bit of wall. So I take that down and it's still just one big room. At the moment, it's fine. It's just one big room. So that's OK. So if we go and do that with these over here, this is good. So deconstruct, deconstruct, take things apart. Wonderful. There we go. Right. So they'll then break those apart. Oh, carpets being laid. Talas doing a grand job there. Just constructing carpet. I think all the materials are in. It's now just a case of actually getting that done. I've left the generator on again, haven't I? I've left that on. Um, are we doing anything over here? Are we making these? Have we got any electronics? Uh, we've got one lot. It takes a long while to make them then. That's the message I'm getting from that. It takes a long time to craft electronics. Okay, no, never mind. That's fine. They'll get there eventually. Um, I mean, yeah, they, they, yeah, they're taking the walls apart as well, look. So those walls are down. So very soon... I think yeah, if we could get everybody with their own rooms, that would be fantastic. I don't think each room is going to have uh, air conditioning in it just yet. I don't think that's anything we can do. Um, also, what happens when their stuff wears down? What happens when their stuff kind of evaporates entirely? Do they go and put another hat on? Or do we need to go and tell them to wear a new hat? I'm not entirely sure. I guess we could look at that with Annette here because her hat is falling apart. So, I mean, unless we change to a better hat but I'm kind of thinking it should fall apart and then she can just wear what she wants I think maybe that's what we do we also do have two jackets there are two jackets around that we don't need where are the two jackets destroy those they're pointless we don't need those we can put them on where are the jackets okay hang on I'm going to go on a hunt for some jackets um not in that storage area not in that one not in that one uh, there they are, those. Because, yeah, they're not good for heat tolerance. So we might as well dismantle both of those. And we're going to get, what, 30? Is it 30 per jacket? 30 fabric? I'm not entirely sure. And synthetic boots, get rid of those as well. Get rid of those. They can go too. There we go. Might as well reclaim some resources from things we're never going to use. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. It's looking pretty good over here. But now everyone's going to bed. But, yeah, it does make sense. Coming up to midnight. So people can have a lovely night's sleep. And then I think... On day 37, which has just begun, we can finally get this sorted. I think we've possibly got just about the right amount of wood. We might need to get just another couple of trees sorted. And then we could go and actually get the wall sorted over here. Then everyone's got their own bedroom. Move the beds around. It's all lovely and carpeted in there. I think that will be good. Need some windows in as well, but I think if we could just get the rooms in at a very basic level, that's got to be a good thing. So there we go. Let's wait to see what everyone gets up to when they wake up in the morning. Oh, look at that. We have a little band going on. That's quite fun. A little kind of jamming session is happening. So Annette's on the handpan and Vanessa is over here on the didgeridoo. And that's good because Vanessa is a musical prodigy. So everybody's going to like hearing her playing the didgeridoo. Also, it says that she is discussing future research with Talas. I find that very unlikely to happen whilst you're playing a didgeridoo because you can't talk while playing a didgeridoo. I don't think you can. Anyway, I've never played a didgeridoo, but I think you can't have a chat whilst playing a didgeridoo because you have to kind of you know, use your mouth to blow into the thing itself. So I don't think you can be discussing future research. Maybe that happened a while ago and it's just kind of hanging around over your head or whatever. But there we go. Right. So people are getting on with a few bits and bobs. The only thing is, Annette, it's really good you are playing the hand pan. That's fantastic. But could you maybe stop playing the handpan and go and make some music? Uh, go make some music. You've made music. Go make some food. That would be good because there is currently no food at all. Although you are harvesting this stuff. Talas has still got his illness. So he's going to have a lie down waiting the next treatment. That's okay. Um, you harvest this because this is grain. And grain is good. We can use that to make porridge and various other bits of bob. So that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, how are we looking over here? 
How are we looking? Oh, this is looking very good. The carpets are going in. Talas is being treated. Uh, let's zone out the walls, actually. Let's get the walls sorted. Uh, so, housing and give us a wall. Give us some planks. Thank you very much. Um, okay, this is going to be a bit awkward, is it? Because one side's going to be sort of nice, the front of the planks. And one's going to be the back of the planks. I'm not quite sure which way around we do it. Let's do it like that. Look, so that can go there. So that is a five by four room and that's what they want to have. So if they've got that size room, that makes them all jolly and happy. Okie dokie, right, that's good. And then get another wall, thank you. I shall now hold shift down to make sure that retains. There we go, do that again. Was that the right way? Was that the right way again? Uh, I think, yes, yeah, there you go, we can tell. So yeah, the inside, yeah, like that, that's fine. And then we'll do the same thing again, just no, 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 that's, I didn't mean to do that. No, that's not gone entirely according to plan. Cancel those orders. Although, that's actually correct. Just there is fine. That's what we actually want. Uh, okay, but it's, has it switched it round on that side? Is this, it's a different orientation. So now the, that's very confusing. That's a bit, why has it done that? Okay, that's a bit weird. Hang on a minute. Select all those bits. Cancel those orders. Okay, that didn't go entirely according to plan. Never mind. Right, get a wall. Get a plank thing. Um, bring that over like that. So hang on. Rotate that around. I think it's got to be like that. Because, I mean, yeah, they're going to have two insidey wall bits, aren't they? But never mind. No, that's, that's the way of things. That's how it's got to be, I'm afraid. Sorry, folks. That's the floor. Don't want that. And then wooden planks like that across there and yeah like that okay there we go that's that sorted and then if we could get some windows in that would not be too bad a thing so if we just get in the large metal windows so they've got one on that side so if we put one uh it can't be exactly dead center which is a bit of a shame but never mind so put one there one there and then come around here and then you can have one there and one there lovely right there we go plenty for you lot to do now loads of stuff to do but soon we will have six rooms it's taking a long time to get the bedroom sorted i mean then we need to go and get ourselves a little kind of living area over here that's got to be all built out of wood and covered up as well that's where we go sit about and that needs to be air conditioned and everything else but yeah we're getting there slowly but surely we are getting there we're getting things sorted out uh yeah the food Still a bit of an issue, actually. If we could cook some food, that would be grand. Annette, what I'm going to do is, on your activities, cooking cooking is one. Uh, okay, right. What we'll do is, not your harvesting and ranching down to two, possibly. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, Annette's the one that does all the stuff on the, on the bench. Uh, on the soldering bench. Okay, maybe. Who else can do that? Nova. Nova's quite good at that. You're pretty good at assembling stuff. Um, that could be that could be your number one job. Nova, you can now go and do that. You can be kind of tailor and also weapons manufacturer. That'd be quite good. But yeah, Annette, please do some cooking because we're all incredibly hungry, please. Uh, also, these things here. Make, make five pies. Might as well make five of them. And we can make grain porridge. We can make veggie soup. We can make meat soup. There's a lot of stuff that we can do. And Annette cheered up Vanessa as well, which is excellent. There we go. Planting more stuff over here. I think it's all looking pretty good. And Nova is over here making some electronic components. And she leveled up. Crafting five. Fantastic. Okay, that's very good as well. Oh, this is all working out very marvellously. Wonderful. Oh, I completely forgot about the expedition thing, didn't I? Is that smoke even still there? I completely, utterly forgot about that. Hang on. Um, two days. It's going to expire in two days. Maybe we should go and have a little look at that. Travel time, nine hours. So we won't do it now because they're all going to bed. So I think in the morning, first thing, we'll wake up. They can have a bite to eat. And then we'll send, I think, maybe Nova. I know she's only just got her kind of fancy electronics crafting job. But Nova, I think, can go away and see what's happening there. I think that could be quite a good thing. I mean, it might be nothing. It might be that kind of, uh, that strange person setting fire to bodies again, or it might be something else entirely different. It might be another person. It might be another person. So we'll go and do that in the morning. So here we go, run through the nighttime because everybody's having a lovely sleep. And hopefully 
they're not going to be complaining about sort of, you know, the cave dwelling negative thing because the rooms are all lovely and carpeted now. Look at that. Proper carpeted rooms. It's nice. Got some nice kind of soft flooring going on so you don't have to hurt your delicate little feet as you walk around. That's all very good. Signal rocket. Hang on. Oh, now is there another thing for us to look at? A signal rocket rises through the sky. It must be another survivor needing help. Wow. Okay, right. We go and do that one. That's what we do. We go and do that one. So hang on. Nova. Just want to make sure that you actually have had food and such like. So you've enjoyed a meal. Whereabouts are you actually right now, Nova? You are... Uh, where are you? Double click. Oh, you're over here. Ah, yeah, you're doing the stuff that we told you to do. Right, Nova, you're going on a fun journey. So we might have to ignore thin smoke. Signal rocket. Nova, go on an expedition. And I think a few people did say, actually, hang on, hang on. Is it a thing we can craft? Somebody said you can craft provisions, is it? Or something like that? Maybe we can't do it yet. Maybe we've not unlocked the thing which allows us to do that. Um, yeah, is it some sort of special thing? Uh, I swear they said there was a thing you can unlock that you can craft, which allows them to take like a sleeping bag and some basic rations or something. But I'm not entirely sure what that might be. And I don't know where it is. So maybe we can't do that right now. I do not know. Joe, you know never mind. Cereal coffee. Oh, no, we're not having that. No, that's just outrageous. We're not doing any of that. Wine making. Oh, kimchi. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, wow, there's loads of exciting things down here. We've got to find or produce purple leaf. Uh, we should have some of that, actually. Should we not have some purple leaf? Um, I thought... Oh, no, hang on. I don't think we harvested any, did we? It's around here. Uh, do you know what? Just to unlock that, let's go and grab a bit of purple leaf. Just one bit to unlock various other things. Um, okay, so I don't think we can... I don't know if we can make any kind of provisions or whatever, but that's okay. Hopefully, they've had a bit you know, to eat for breakfast. So, Nova, go over there and have a look at what that signal is all about. That's going to be good. It's going to take a long... Oh, no, hang on. Five hours. Oh, okay. No, I was going to wrap things up, but time does go pretty quickly. So, I think as soon as this takes off and away with you in your balloon... Are you taking... You have taken some, um, some pickled stuff. That's good. Uh, which way is, where is the balloon going? I, I'd love to be able to see a bit higher to see where the balloons go. But okay, so they're off. I think, yeah, we'll just let time tick on. I was going to sort of wrap things up, but no, I think, because time does go quite quick, we should find out what the result of that is. And then we'll finish things up. Although, hang on a second, all the bedrooms are done. So now all we have to do is move the beds around. So in fact, the two beds are in the right places. All we've got to do is move that bed into the right place and that's going to be sorted right move that and also rotate it round so it's in the correct place so put that there look and they're each going to have their own room this is brilliant okay that's fantastic that's really really good if we could just get that done that would finish that off cheered up talas ember's going to go and get the thingamabob leaf which is good because that gives us more research options there's so much going on if we get another person if we get another person insufficient storage space um uh oh it can't go on a shelf it's got to be a kind of a a floor storage thingamajig uh where could that go do you know what we can put some over here stockpile just there that's fine but don't put meds in it please um yeah don't put medicines in it or food don't put uh, raw food or cooked food onto the floor because that will be silly. That will be a bit strange. Okie doke. Right, so run that on. A few people did say that we can build things like, um, uh, where is it, like wardrobes and cupboards and things. I don't think we've unlocked that quite yet. I don't think we can do that quite yet. Unless it's in a store. Oh, no, there it is. Wardrobes. We can store clothing items and weapons. So maybe in each of our rooms, we should give everybody a wardrobe. Oh my goodness me, yes, this is brilliant. I realise we should be building fridges and things and you know, solar panels and everything else, but if we can give them a wardrobe, they can all have their own little sort of area where they can store their own clothes. That's very good. Okay, Chuck, we'll do that. Double wardrobe. We'll put it in the corners there. So corner, 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 and then rotate, rotate, and then that corner, that corner, and that corner. And in here we do need a bed, actually. Hang on. So furniture, bed, 
wooden bed, fabric, rotate it round, pop it in the corner, sorted. Right, okay, now let's get, uh, we need some more wood to do the building. Hang on, the expedition is complete. Wait there a second, Nova. I'm just doing some of this. Uh, palm trees, cut. there is some wood over here. So if somebody could move that wood over, that would be very handy. Right, what happened with the expedition? Let's go and have a little look. I found a survivor. Welcome them to our camp. Yoko joins or absolutely not. I mean, we can't, we can't not welcome people. We, we have to say hello. We have to bring people over. It's more mouths to feed, but then we have more people doing more jobs. So Yoko joins. 18 happiness. Welcome them to the camp. We have Yoko. Okay, Yoko Dokuchi. Okay, let's take a look at you. So, um, yeah, you look, okay, best at crafting and healing. Crafting is good. You're not injured. That's impressive. Got some good happiness going on. You're wearing some fairly basic things. Uh, no good at combat. No good at construction. Cooking okay. Crafting, farming, healing and intellect. That's pretty good. Crafting teacher. Occasionally increase uh, improves the crafting skill of others. Bloodlust. Gains happiness when killing or observing death. Okay, bit weird, but okie doke. And uh, yeah, don't need the uh, raw meat or grain, please. But everything else, you're absolutely fine. Okay, let's just get them back. Let's make sure they come back on the balloon. And then I think when they land, we will wrap things up. Yeah, two of our people are unarmed. That's not ideal. Possibly. I mean, yeah, do we just wait until we can make them shooty guns? Just equip everybody with a laser weapon. Because that's got to be a better thing. That's got to be more useful, hasn't it? Um, oh, that diesel generator is still on. We're burning through the stuff. Hang on, we're going to turn it off. We're going to turn that off. Turn it off for now. There we go. Uh, yeah, people are making wardrobes and beds and everything else. We've researched pulse rifles. We've got an unpowered device. That's okay. But now we can make pulse rifles. Okay. So if we go to craft weapons... Yes. Okay, I'll we'll switch it back on. But that's okay. So for now... It takes two power cells, and we've got four. So we could, in theory, make two of these. Yes, please, do that. Let's get the balloon back. Come on, balloon. Where are you? Nova and Yoko, come back. Nova and Yoko, where are you? Also, do you know what? Scavenge that thing whilst we're waiting. 100 meat is about to rot away. Sad times indeed, but there we go. Where's the balloon? There we go. And with that done, we will pause time because, yeah, we do have a little bit of stuff to do. Got to sort out Yoko's uh, sort of schedule and activities and all that kind of stuff. But, um, and of course, what they're wearing as well. We don't really know what they're wearing. They could be wearing really sort of hot stuff, which is making them uncomfortable. So plenty to sort out with her next time. But we're now up to six people. Welcome, Yoko. This is brilliant. This is very exciting. Another thing falling down there. But there we go. We have our six person. I, again, another pair of hands helping out around the place. Really, really handy. They can do some crafting. They could do some building, moving things around. Could do some harvesting. I think, I think six is a good number of people. We did sort of plan for that, which is good. So I think, yeah, now the next plan, build a big bit of base. So put a big chunky bit out here where we can have a little kind of living area, maybe over here, crafting area, maybe a kitchen, keep the fridges over here, that kind of stuff. And then have ourselves like an indoor storage thing. And then we can get rid of all this. All that can go away. We can have all the crafting things inside our little kind of base. And then we can get some solar panels set up. I think we're going to research those next time. So get some solar panels done. Got to try to figure out how to do batteries. Maybe that's a thing we have to research, but it's all looking very good. And now with a six person, we are going to get things done even quicker, which is wonderful. So there we go. I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now and we'll come back next time and just see how we get on. Hopefully things can keep ticking over as well as they have been. And also shooty guns. We might be able to get some shooty rifley laser thingamabobs as well, which would be very good. So yeah, we'll see if we can get that done next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Stranded Alien Dawn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the Guard. Rob the Guard, he's a hero, he is Rob the God, he's got a feather in his cap, he's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun. <laughs>